Hi, it's James here for May 2021's Founders Log Update. So this month my highlight was driving a Polestar 2. So we've been thinking about getting EV company cars for a while. So me, already being a Volvo driver, I decided to have a look at Polestar 2. So Polestar used to be a brand of Volvo. It used to be their sports brand, like a bit like how BMW has the M-Power, uh, Mercedes has AMG, where Volvo had Polestar. And what they've done is they've now separated Polestar out into its own separate company. And they're creating all the latest EVs. And they brought out the Polestar 2, which is without doubt the best EV on the market at the moment. Technology-wise, it's all built by Google, so it's got Android Automotive in there, but it's built into the car. It's not streaming from your phone like it does typically on other cars. So it's the whole operating system of that car is built by Google. So rather than building their own internal stuff, which is always going to be junk, they've actually outsourced it to a company that can build software. So that's what you want in a car. You want a car where the actual software has been built by a company that specializes in building software. A lot of manufacturers will outsource to people like Bosch and stuff like that. What do they know about building software? Yeah, it's why cars are generally crap when it comes down to it uh, on their um, in, 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 infotainment systems. Um, but the Polestar is amazing with uh, the Google technology behind it. It's also a super rapid car. So it's 0 to 60, 4.1 seconds. It's a dual motor. Uh, top of the range ones that we're going for anyway. You can get a single motor one too, which is like seven seconds, I think, the the uh, 0 to 60. But we've been looking at EVs and the Polestar is just brilliant. Absolutely fantastic car. So we've already bought our order in for the first one and hopefully we should get that in September. I'm really looking forward to driving it. It's just, just, it's just nice. It's the first time I've driven an electric car um, and you just glide along. It's it's just a different experience with one foot braking because you don't need to use the brakes because you can turn the the electromotors can go into reverse to regen and repower the battery. It's just a completely different experience, without doubt, as we know, the future of cars. But the actual driving experience is much, much better as well than using an old ICE internal combustion engine car. So if you're looking at EVs, definitely have a look at Polestar 2. Really, really, really nice cars. We had an interesting lead come in this month. It was actually from uh, Lahore in India. A company based there they've got a uk office uh, over 2000 employees about 60 in the uk office and they wanted to move from 365 to google workspace so we had a conversation with them it turned out the guy we were chatting to at the time he was in his car driving through lahore because you could hear all the uh, horns going off all the traffic and all that kind of stuff uh, so we asked him i said probably best we have another phone call the following day to go more details into another video call so we had a video call but it was a very strange in the end the, the company just didn't want to commit to anything. They wanted us to send all the details out, like everything that needs to be done to move from 365 to Google Workspace, almost like they had their own IT, internal IT, who was going to go and then use our blueprints to move across. Uh, anyway, we haven't heard back from them um, after a couple of emails uh, where we said, no, we're not giving you that stuff out. We need to do this, this, and this before we can even start talking about the, the migration. There's a lot of information, a lot of data, and lots of things that need to be found out before it can go. And they just don't want to hand that stuff over. So it sort of feels to me like they just wanted the blueprints of what to do, and then they'll probably go and do it themselves. Um, either way, as I said, they haven't been back in contact with us, and we've not really reached out to them anymore. So uh, it was a lead that, if it went somewhere, it went somewhere, but it wasn't something we were too fussed about. Talking about leads, we had another, quite a few actually come in. Um, I think it was like three or four leads come in. And uh, I think probably all four of those will convert um, over the next month or so. So that's all looking really kind of cool, kind of good. I also visited a client for the first time in ages. It's our supercar, supercar repair center based over in Canuck called Charade. I found, because I'm a, a Lego fan and I'm a Lego VIP, so I got access to a Porsche 911 Lego that they're bringing out. It's a limited edition one. And I know that Steve, who owns uh, Charade, big, big Porsche fan, he races them as well. So I absolutely loves them, so I definitely had to buy that for him. So we bought that for him, took it over to, there, over to those guys. Uh, I was there for about two hours and we were just chatting about cars nonstop because we've got a bit of a passion about cars. Um, and it was really good, showed me his new VW van that he's just redone, it's absolutely superb. So go and look for Charade and look for their Facebook page and also on their Instagram and you'll see photos of this uh, VW van that they've just refitted for him. For him, It's the one that he takes to the racetracks with his team in and stuff like that. Uh, but the paint job on it is McLaren Volcano, Volcano I think the colour of the paint is called. Either way, 10 grand's worth of paint to redo the van. Um, it's a very pricey paint, as you can tell, and that was just the cost price, not the price that average people would have to pay. They would have to pay a hell of a lot more, uh, but it's a really, really nice van, really, really smart. Go and have a look for that. And if you're watching this video on the Kimberly IT blog at kimberly.com forward slash blog, 
Um, you'll see all our support statistics for May. So it was another great month. We've got some really decent statistics there. Have a read of them. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there should be a link to click through to have a look at them. I won't stick them in the comments because it's quite a long post. So just go to the Kimberley website to have a look at, look, look at them. Uh, but that's it for May 2021 and I'll speak to you next month. Have fun. Bye bye. Thank you.